Hi friends, my name is Wendy Tremaine. I'm the author of the book, The Good Life Lab. Today we're making yogurt in my kitchen. People think uh, making Greek thick uh, yogurt is really hard to do at home. So I happen to know that it's not hard at all. You just need the right gear. So I'm gonna walk you through my process. I like creamy thick Greek style yogurt. And uh, what I have here is a gallon of milk. I'm lucky enough that my milk comes from the farmer nearby. But you could use any milk, you, and I recommend um, getting your milk with the fat, full fat milk. I poured off the cream already because I like cream in my coffee. Here's my crock pot, pretty much any old standard crock pot. And um, here's the key device that makes this accurate. So this is a temperature controller called the Yahtzee temperature controller. And my sweetie, Mikey Sklar, who's an inventor, actually designed it. You're gonna set the temperature, you're gonna plug your appliance into it, you're gonna plug it into power, and that's it. It's gonna oscillate this device, this appliance, turning it on, off, on, off, to hold the temperature that you tell it you want. So I want between like 109 and 112 for yogurt. I set the temperature, I walk away. Here is my starter. This was last week's yogurt. I just saved this tiny little blob so I can start off this week's yogurt and inoculate it. I dump it right into the yogurt. I'm gonna give it a mix and I'm just gonna place my milk right into my water bath. So now my crock pot, because I plugged it into a temperature controller, has just been turned into a fermenter, right? So it's gonna now make my yogurt. So I'm gonna come back in about 12 hours and see how it does. And if I forget, if I get stuck somewhere and I don't make it home in time, it doesn't matter. It's just gonna get thicker. We're back. It's been way more than 12 hours. I got a little busy, caught up, forgot to come back, but here we are. So it doesn't matter. The longer you leave this, the creamier, the thicker your yogurt will be. And I like it really creamy, really thick, almost like cheese. So here's our um, milk that is now separated into whey and what's going to be our yogurt. Um, here's a bowl that's purpose is just to catch liquid. Here's a um, standard uh, strainer and um, a men's hanky, white cloth cotton hanky. Um, I use the hanky because it drains well, and sometimes, depending on the volume, you, you might need two of these, so we'll see how it goes. Poured this hanky in a stainless steel cup and poured um, boiling water in just to sterilize it. I like to do that when I'm dealing with um, cheese and yogurt. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour off the whey. Uh, once I pour this whey off, I'll then put it in this mason jar where I'll store it. And why store whey? Well, whey is awesome. Protein, I give it to my dog. Uh, it goes right into her food. I cook with it, I add it to dishes. It's great in Indian food. There's just so many uses. So we save that whey. It's really, really um, special. You could see the split. And I'm gonna start to pour. I'm just gonna pour real slowly. Sometimes I'll have someone here with me to make sure this uh, hanky doesn't slide. I'm gonna pause here, let this strain through. Okay, so this is um, draining through. And I'm gonna lift right here. I wanna pour off what's in here into here so I can filter some more. So I'm just gonna move this boop, right over here and let it sit for a second. Move this, let it sit, and I'm gonna pour this way off and then just do the very same thing again. Poured it off a second time. This will be my third pour. And now, as I mentioned, we're finally really getting into the thicker stuff. So you gotta just watch your cloth, make sure it doesn't fall. It'll splash for sure. Boop. Boop. You really wanna get this moisture out. So I'm gonna take the four points of my hanky and I'm gonna hold them up. You can see it's still draining, right? So we wanna let this drain um, and we're gonna do it by hanging this. So first we need to really secure this. So I use a rubber band. I actually use two because I don't want any accidents. A lot thicker. 
And I'm basically, I've got a little hook hanging over my sink um, where I do this so that what drips lands in my sink. But you can put this on a hook anywhere and just put a bowl under it, right? So you don't have to be over your sink. I'm gonna put the hook right through the rubber band. So I'll show you that in just a sec. Okay, we're over at my sink, last stage here. So um, I've hung this through the rubber band and because I never trust <laughs> just the rubber band, I've also tied the fabric around the hook that I ha have over my sink. So this is just gonna drip off into the sink. If you don't have a hook over your sink, hang it anywhere and just put a bowl under it to catch the extra whey. Um, this could be ready in 15 minutes if you like your yogurt really um, moist and more liquidy. I like mine really, really dry. I'm probably gonna leave it here for a couple of hours. So I'll come back and show you what the yield is. Once again, I left the house. I don't really know how long I was gone. I didn't keep track. I know it doesn't matter. So it's been, I think, maybe a couple of hours. Um, and I just pulled the little ball off my hook. And here's my product. So as I mentioned several times, I like Greek style yogurt. I like it really thick, as you can see. I like it almost like cheese. And sometimes I'll actually take this and season it like cheese. I'll put in salt and dill and onion powder and make a spread. But um, I keep it on season so I can go either way. Some days I'm gonna do berries, cardamom, vanilla, um, but look at that. This is really, really thick. And, um, it's very versatile in this form. So that's pretty much it, my friends. If you like Greek style yogurt, like I do, thick yogurt, you're gonna need a temperature controller because that's the difference. Um, and of course we make and design our own. It's called the Yahtzee and it's got lots of great features and you can get it on Etsy and Amazon, but the lowest price is actually to buy it from us on our blog. I'll link you to it. Thanks. Let's review. We started with a gallon of milk. We ended up with a half gallon plus a quart of whey that we can use for cooking. We can feed our pets, many, many uses. Almost a quart of very, very thick Greek style yogurt and if you remember at the very start, I took the first pint of heavy cream right off the top because I like cream in my coffee. So there is your gallon, nothing wasted, but in three new forms.